This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. We are back playing some more Starbound, and today we are going to take a look at the Ceremonial Hunting Caverns. I'm going to walk you through it, the quickest way through it, and how to beat the boss. So for this tutorial slash walkthrough dealing, I'm going to use the same armor that we used in the last one when we did the mining colony. This is the tier one armor for my race. I don't recommend you use your tier one armor. I recommend you explore for a little bit since there is no rush to do this. You can actually go all the way to the top tier level planets before you fight this boss. Um, you can do that if you want to or fight it whenever you're ready, but I'm gonna show you that it can be done with the tier one armor. By this point, I would hope you would have uh, some new weapons other than the crafted ones. I would hope you have found some. I'm going to be doing this walkthrough with two machine pistols. I'm going to dual wield those bad boys and I'm going to use two different wands. I'm going to show you how you can use them on two different ways to beat the boss pretty easily. There's the repulsion zone and there is the energy zone. They both are just rain wands. Also, before you fight the boss, I would recommend having bandages, a lot of them, so you can heal whenever you need to, and a decent uh, stack of food, preferably some food that's going to give you some buffs. Uh, this food here gives me an energy buff when I consume it. All you're going to do is run to the right. You're going to run into a bunch of florins. There's random stuff you can loot here at the beginning. Open this fence, hit these. You don't have to ride these down. You can actually fall. There's water down below. Now, this is pretty much a straight shot. So, once again, just like the last walkthrough I did, this one is just going to be the quickest way to get through the level. I will do a different tutorial later showing you all the secrets and hidden chests and all that good stuff. But for right now, we're just going to make a straight line right to the boss as quickly as possible. Okay, so after she opens the gate here, there are two ways you can go. You can go up or you can go down. You want to go down. What we're going to be doing here is making a straight line to the boss. And it is pretty much a straight line. So just keep on this main level here till you find this little tiny space and then you're going to jump up it. Now the trick to getting through here and you could probably do this with rope. I'm going to use the grapple gun is you want to latch on right here or you can jump it but that's the easy way I found through it. The guys that you're going to fight aren't too bad. Just make sure you heal. Watch out for these boulders. They hit pretty hard. They're pretty easy to dodge though. Then you're going to get to this section. You're going to jump up here. She's going to talk to you a little bit. And you just want to wait. She'll open this gate right here. Don't go this way. You want to go this way. Now, as long as you don't jump over here, these guys pretty much just stand here and take whatever beating you give them. So that is what we're going to do. This is where the rain and the wands come in handy. You can kill them however you want, but we're going to use a little wand action. If you have something with knockback, you can actually knock this guy back and let the boulders do the killing for you. Or just murder him. Now there's a bunch of guys here and you can actually kill them pretty easily. They'll jump up. Make sure you hit them all and then run back a little bit and jump up on this platform here.
they don't dodge the boulder and as you can see there they just get hit and completely wrecked ignore these guys run straight across there's another one up there ignore him just run straight across and you're gonna jump up ignore that guy keep running hit this lever right here and then now you're at the boss one thing I want to point out really quick that I don't think I pointed out yet is my two guns my machine pistols those both have the negative status effects on them or the debuffs whatever you want to call it this one's a poison one this one's electric I recommend having these because they add to the damage that you're going to do to the boss preferably I would have liked a um, fire one or a frost one instead of the electric one because I think all it does is shock enemies that are near the enemy that's electrified which isn't the greatest but this one had higher damage you also want to try to get higher damage ones uh, like I said you can use whatever weapon you want it's it's not too big of a deal it does help if you have this wand a wand like this with the energy zone on it and that is what I'm going to be showing you first So you're going to come through the gate here. She's going to talk. This boss actually isn't that bad. It's pretty easy to beat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot those just in case we need to jump. So you're going to cast the energy zone on yourself. And then just spam your gunshots like crazy. If you get hit, just heal up. He's not going to kill you in one hit, so it's not that big of a deal. Cast your energy zone again, and then just unload. Now, before we kill him, I'm going to swap out wands real quick and show you why I brought the other one that has repulsion zone on it. So you're going to want to attack as much as you can. Just continue to attack him. You can see it whittles down his health pretty quickly. And the repulsion zone is basically for the little guys that he spawns. So we'll wait. Right now is when you really want to lay into him when he doesn't have a shield But if he gets too many of these guys you can use the repulsion zone to keep them off of you Well provided you don't trap yourself. Let's try this again So see you can use the repulsion zone to kind of clump them up and keep them off of you And it just kind of works as an extra barrier in here since you can't actually place any blocks but honestly your best bet is if you have a wand with energy zone on it because that kind of makes you ridiculously OP especially if you have something like two machine pistols so you can see I can just fire non-stop on this guy and it's no big deal fire non-stop anywhere and it's no big deal it doesn't matter how many guys he puts down and as long as you have the bandages, you can continuously heal through whatever he hits and throws out. So now his shield's off, so we just want to lay into him as much as possible. I'm going to ignore his guys for a sec. And there you have it. Alright, so... Honestly, that goes a lot smoother when I'm not trying to talk and I'm more focused on the battle. Basically, like I said, what you want to do is you can jump up to see where he's at every now and then. Keep your energy zone up as much as possible. Watch for when his shield is down. When his shield's down, that's when you really want to just lay into him. Other than that, most of the time you can spend waiting for his shield to come down and just dodge his attacks and kill the minions. Honestly, it's not a very hard boss battle. It's it's pretty easy. If you have a decent weapon or weapons and you uh, have upgraded your armor, he's complete and total piece of cake. Well, that's going to call it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Until next time, thanks for watching.